Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Yesterday was our first middle school track meet. And if you remember from the last couple of years, when we get to, to track meet season, I myself, I never ran. Uh, my asthma made that kind of difficult for me. So I never did track myself. But two of our kids now have done track, and I really have enjoyed that season. And one of the things I really enjoy is how the crowd cheers for everyone. And this was interesting because one of my daughters was with my wife and I up in the bleachers, and they were running races. And any time any of the runners, it didn't matter which school they came from, came by, we'd clap. And my daughter turned to me and said, why are you clapping for them? They're not on our team. You shouldn't be clapping for them. And I said, no, no, no. The point of this isn't to clap because you want certain people to win. I mean, certainly we cheer uh, when our own kids or whoever it is run well and place well. And certainly those running want to finish first if they can. But in the end, that's not really the point. The point isn't when you finish. The point is that you finish. And so the crowd cheers for every single kid, especially on those long distance races like the 800 and the 1600. You cheer because you want to see everyone cross that finish line. No matter what order they finish in, you want everyone to finish the race. This reminds me of Philippians chapter 3 beginning with verse 12. And here Paul uses a racing metaphor. He says, Not that I have already obtained this, or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And that goal we're talking about, I press on toward the finish line. Let those of us who are mature think this way. And if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. And here Paul is talking about reaching the goal of the Christian faith. That is eternity with Jesus. And he says, I haven't attained that. This isn't based on how fast or good of a runner I am. Jesus has attained it for me, and he's waiting at the finish line just for me to cross. And the goal isn't to finish first. The goal isn't to be better or holier than my neighbors and show off how great I am compared to them. The goal is that we all finish. That we all remain in the one true faith in Jesus, that we might be carried by him across that finish line into everlasting life. And so instead of viewing each other as competition in the church, who's doing something better than I am, we encourage one another. We see each other as fellow runners. And because of our sin, we're really all at the back of the pack. None of us are going to finish first on our own. But Jesus has come and has picked us up. And he's carrying us across. And again, the goal isn't the order in which we finish the race. The goal is that we finish the race, that we remain in the faith. And so we encourage one another. We help one another as we strive toward that finish line where Jesus waits with the gifts he has won for us on the cross. And in the empty tomb. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your Son, our Savior, who has completed our race for us through his life, through his death, through his resurrection, and who now through faith carries us across that finish line to the gifts he has won for us. Lord, as we live out our faith, as we run our races, help us, Lord, not to see each other as competition, but to work together and encourage one another. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Today is Friday, and starting this Sunday, 
Holy Week. We have Palm Sunday, and then we have Monday, Thursday, that Thursday, Good Friday, that Friday, and Easter Sunday, the following Sunday. I want to encourage you, as you're running your race, as you are living out your faith, that you would gather with us, join us for worship, as every time we gather for worship, we have our faith strengthened. That's Jesus, strengthen our faith, carrying us across that finish line every time we're gathered for worship. So join us this Sunday, Palm Sunday, 9 o'clock. Join us this coming Thursday, Monday, Thursday worship, 6 o'clock. Then join us the Friday, uh, it's Friday the 7th at 7 p.m. for Good Friday. And then Easter Sunday, the following Sunday, 9 o'clock, and we'll have our Easter brunch following service. I pray God's blessings on your Holy Week, and I hope to see you all on Sunday. <laughs> Amen.